Hey, this is Sai Dan coming to you with a video for the first time in uh, quite a long time. Um, the last 12 months or so, uh, I've been getting a bit busier, uh, a bit more responsibility has come my way. Uh, I have gotten a lot lazier, but I am trying to get back into the habit of uploading videos again. Uh, I have moved away from competitive Splatoon 2, uh, so I probably won't be uploading Splatoon 2 tournaments anymore, uh, but I do plan to put a little bit more effort into making videos as opposed to just dumping gameplay. Uh, also I'm hoping to, to do more than just uh, Splatoon 2. Uh, case in point. Uh, this video is for uh, Pokemon Draft League. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be breaking down the Pokemons that I drafted for the second season of the Mustards Battle League, or the MBL for short. Uh, if you don't know what a Pokemon Draft League is, uh, uh, for a quick primer, uh, Pokemon Draft League is basically like fantasy football. Uh, each player will draft a co will draft a, a team of a certain number of Pokemons. Uh, from those certain number of Pokemons, we choose six to battle other coaches week after week. After a set amount of weeks, the top players or the top teams will then face each other in a single style elimination like mini league, and the winner of that will be the champion of the of the uh, MBL season two. Now, um, each each league has their own like uh, unique uh, rule sets, uh, little nuances, uh, the number of coaches, how many um, teams that uh, how many Pokemon each team can have. Uh, in the MBL's case, uh, there are 12 teams, and each team will have 10 Pokemon. Um, now, uh, my to set the stage, uh, my team is the Sydney Six, um, and uh, the way drafts work is that uh, each team, well, each team, are uh, put in a draft order. Uh, and we draft in a snake draft order. So it's like first, first round, uh, the t uh, first the f person at the top of the list will pick first. It goes down the list, and then on the second round, it goes starts from the bottom and goes up, and it goes back and forth. Um, for me, I was a uh, number four position. So uh, in the first round, I pick fourth, but in the in the second round, I pick eighth, and so on and so forth. Um, now, I was pretty happy with my position of uh, number four uh, because um, I knew going into the draft that I was going to get a good Gigantamax Pokemon or a good S tier Pokemon. Uh, so when the draft started, um, the first three teams they chose Gigantamax Pokemons. Um, uh, the, and going into it, I, there was two Gigantamax Pokemon I really wanted to use, uh, but they both got taken. <laughs> so uh, I decided uh, I'll just pick uh, an S tier Pokemon. And uh, I, I thought this Pokemon was going to be chosen before it got to me, but since they all chose Gigantamax Pokemon, I decided to uh, pick up um, Cinder Ace as my first pick. Now, uh, Cinder Ace is a super versatile Pokemon. Um, it is, it's incredibly fast. It's got a high attack stat. It's, uh, it has a great uh, move pool. Uh, some powerful moves like its signature move, Pyro Ball. It has access to high jump kick and gunk shot. A whole bunch of coverages in Iron Head, Zen Headbutt. Uh, it also has priority moves in Sucker Punch and Quick Attack. Um, yeah, and it can even support through like Taunt and uh, Bulk Up 
agility. Um, yeah, it's just there's so much. Uh, this Cinder Ace is just super versatile Pokemon. Uh, it, it is a Pokemon I've used before, so uh, I'm excited to use this. But the difference between the last time I used it and this time is that uh, this um, the since then uh, the hidden ability for Cinder Ace has been released. Now, if you don't know what the hidden ability for Cinder Ace is, it's uh, Libero. Uh, it's a new ability called Libero, and uh, Libero is just like Protean. Uh, if you don't know what those two abilities did, it's basically that uh, e whenever Cinder Ace attacks, its typing changes to whatever type the attack it's about to perform. Uh, for example, if I if I make Cinder Ace uh, use High Jump Kick, uh, High Jump Kick is a fighting type move, so just before Cinder Ace does the move, it changes into a fighting type Pokemon. Uh, that's super. Uh, that's super powerful because that means that every time Cinder Ace makes an attack, it's uh, the all his attacks gets a same type attack bonus so uh, that's 1.5 times the power more power than um, what it usually is so this this makes this means that Cinder Ace is going to hit things super hard all the time uh, the second thing is uh, Libero because Cinder Ace is so fast um, often the Libero you can use Libero as a way to uh, reduce the amount of damage you take. So Cinder Ace is usually fire type. A uh, water type attack would be super effective, so it does more damage to it. But if I use Gunk Shot, just say I turn into a poison type, uh, so which d doesn't necessarily resist to water types, but it'll take less damage because it's no longer super effective. Um, I'm super excited that uh, Cinder Race is my first pick. Uh, it's super flexible. It can fit into a many different place like uh, play styles. Uh, I was happy for it for as my first pick. Um, now, going into my uh, second pick, I knew that uh, steel types and fairy types were going to be uh, uh, they're, they're limited. There's there's not a lot of good steel and fairy types, so. I was looking through the, the tier list and I saw in the A tier one of my favorite Pokemons of like of all time. Uh, it, it's not my absolute favorite, but it is one of them. Um, and it's uh, Togekiss. Now Togekiss is a very bulky uh, fairy type, especially on the uh, special defense side. Uh, it has it has access to a lot of support moves, the lots of moves to support its team. It has heal bell to heal uh, status conditions like burn and toxic. It has wish so it can heal other teammates. In itself, it's self-sustaining through the move. Uh, it can heal its own H HP through roost and morning sun. It it is also has like super high special attack stats. So. Togekiss is actually a very versatile Pokemon. It has access to to Nasty Plot, which doubles its uh, special attack stat. Uh, the damage, sorry, it's, it doubles the damage of special attack moves. So it, it's gonna it can hit hard. On top of that, it can be incredibly bulky. It's hard to, to Togekiss is just hard to kill. It's I'm I'm surprised that as as the eighth eighth pick in the second round it came to me but yeah Togekiss is one of my favorite fairy types um, or just my favorite Pokemons in general um, so I'm excited to use Togekiss uh, <laughs> I've had I have a lot of funny stories with Togekiss so, uh, um, me using Togekiss so it, it, it's, it's going to be super fun to use um, Oh, I should note also like it has two great abilities uh, in um, Serene Grace, which doubles the the secondary effect of moves. So 
one move that Togekiss gets is Air Slash, uh, which means which normally has a 30% chance of flinching its opponents. Now it has 60%. The other good uh, ability is uh, Super Luck. Uh, so if you combine it with the item Scope Lens, now it has a 50% chance of uh, performing a critical hit. <laughs> so. Um, Look, with these two Pokemons, I was, I was super excited. Like, I, I think I got a s strong two Pokemons. Um, I was thinking, okay, uh, what what else could I use to build on this team? Uh, as my third pick, I was looking at the G Max tier. Uh, what was left? And I was actually uh, there's a Pokemon there I, I really love using. Uh, I've never used the Gigantamax form of it, but uh, I'm a huge fan of um, the base form, uh, Venusaur. So, for my third pick, uh, Gigantamax Venusaur is... Uh, Venusaur itself is actually a very good Pokemon. It's very bulk. It has good bulk. It um, has a decent uh, special attack stat. Uh, it can be very fast uh, under the sun. Uh, uh, because of its uh, hidden ability, Chlorophyll. Um, but what makes, I think, G-Max Venusaur um, even more powerful is that uh, its G-Max move, which I actually don't know from the top of my head, uh, is a bit like Charizard's um, G-Max Wildfire, except that uh, it hits all Pokemon except Grass-type for uh, consistent damage over five turns. Um, uh, on top of that, uh, Venusaur is a, a grounded poison. It's, it's a poison type, and it's not like it. So it can absorb toxic spikes. Its sludge bombs are going to be uh, stronger. Uh, it gets the same type of attack bonus. And on top of that, uh, because it's a my gigantic Pokemon, it's a max ooze means that it can I can increase my special attack stat. Um, and yeah, also uh, it did get um, Earth Power, so it does have access to Max Quake, which further increases its bulk on the special side. So, uh, but on top of that, like Venusaur is also a very versatile Pokemon. It can go offensive or defensively. Um, defensive. Uh, it has access to powerful moves like Weather Ball on. Under under a certain weather weather condition, you can self sustain to Giga Drain, or uh, Solar Beam is one turn under the sun. It is it has access to like Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, defensive moves like uh, Leech Seed and Synthesis. It's there's so much that uh, Venusaur can can do. It is uh, so uh, I'm excited to be using this and. Like with as of my third pick, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm like super excited because uh, I I think I got three really strong Pokemon's, um, going into it, uh, going into my fourth pick, um, uh, I was a little bit concerned that I blew all my strong my single uh tier uh, single Pokemon tiers, but um. I was I was looking at the B tier. Uh, the B tier is a lot had a lot of good Pokemon's in it. Um, and as I was deciding what to choose for my fourth fourth pick, I thought to myself, well, I want to complete um, this fire, water, grass core. So I decided I wanted to get a water type, um, and ideally I wanted my water type to be bulky. So. Uh, Look, I, I, I have used Venusaur, Cinderace, and Togekiss before, so I, I wanted to also get a Pokemon that I've never used before. I've always wanted to use the, my next pick, and so I'm so glad that I got to be able to pick uh, Slowbro. Now, so Slowbro is uh, a super... Uh, it, it's a very bulky Pokemon. Uh, it has high defense stats, it's a self-sustaining Pokemon in that it has a he recovery move, uh, Slack Off. 
It's also its hidden ability, uh, Regenerator, means that I can heal 30% of my HP just by switching out. Uh, it can shore up its weaker special defense side by using Calm Mind. Uh, it has access to a lot of coverage moves and support moves. Uh, Thunder, I, I believe it has Thunder Wave, uh, but I, 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 I know it has Toxic. It can learn a uh, Scald, which is probably one of the most powerful moves in the game. Uh, it, I don't have a lot to say about Slowbro because I've I've never used it before. Uh, yeah, but I'm super excited about using this Pokemon because um, I I have faced it before. It, it is a, a bit of a it's a Pokemon that's really tough to to take down to take down and it allows uh, a great uh, it forces my opponent to 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 switch switch out uh, their Pokemons very often so I am, I am happy about um, my, my getting slow bro uh, and with that I'm like my four my four Pokemon I'm super happy I can't I couldn't be I couldn't ask for a better f like first four pick. Um, but I'm like looking. Okay, I've I've spent the first four but uh, picks not picking a steel type, <laughs> and uh, if there's any type that's rarer than a good berry type, uh, it it's a it's a good steel type. Um, now I I wanted to ch pick a steel type, but. Um, there was also some. There was another type that I wanted to get, and that was a dragon type. Now there was a few dragon types that I wanted to to draft, uh, but and I was gonna draft it a little bit later. But what was happening is that as the fourth tier, as the the round was going on, a lot of the dragon types that I wanted to draft were getting drafted. Now. Once they get drafted, I can't draft that Pokemon, so I needed a Dragon type fast. Uh, the the Steel type I was eyeing, I was thinking I can probably go one more round without drafting it. So I need to get my Dragon type now. So uh, after missing out on getting a few Dragon types that I I, I want I wanted to get. I had to settle with a a, po a a Pokemon I've also never used before, um, and that is Flygon. <laughs> Flygon is a I I I don't know I don't have a lot to say about Flygon actually. Uh, I've never used it before. Uh, it has ax it is a gr has a unique typing Dragon and uh, Ground so. It, and has the ability levitate, so it's it's defensively it is a ground type that's not weak to water. It's not weak to grass. It's actually immune to two different types, electric and ground. It has access because of its ground typing. It has access. It has a stab, one of the most powerful moves, earthquake, the most spammable, po most powerful spammable move in the game. It is. Uh, it has access to U-turn, so I can pi help. It can work with Cinderace to pivot around teams uh, or create generate momentum. Uh, in addition, it has like a has priority move in first impression. It has some coverage moves, like uh, I believe it has like Fire Punch. Uh, it also can self-sustain uh, itself through Roost. It's not the most bulkiest Pokemon, but it's got uh, it's got a respectable 80 base defense and special defense, I believe, um, and has a pretty good uh, speed at 100 base speed and 100 base attack, I believe. Uh, again, I have I don't have much to say. I've never used Flygon before, so uh, I, I and I don't often see Flygon being used. Um, so I am super excited to actually just try Flygon out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, 
even though I didn't get the dragon type that I wanted, uh, I, I, I'm pretty happy with uh, getting Flygon. Uh, but at this at this stage, uh, I'm five picks down. I still haven't picked a Steel type, uh, and I think no matter what, I have to pick uh, the Steel type I want. Uh, I don't think it could. I'm surprised it even lasted this long. Um, the, the the Pokemon I wanted. Uh, now the Pokemon I wanted, the Steel type I wanted to get was uh, Bronzong. Now. Uh, the fact that I haven't switched the, the slides means that I, I didn't get Bronzong. <laughs> uh, it was it got uh, it got uh, picked two two turns before my my turn. So I was always like thinking once once Bronzong got picked, I was uh, I was a little bit flustered. I had no idea it was literally the only steel type I really wanted to use. Uh, Bronzong was a steel type that's not weak to ground. It had access to uh, to Stealth Rock's <laughs> Trick Room, which is uh, I think a useful uh, Pokemon to have against um, uh, given that uh, I have Slowbro and some of the other Pokemons I wanted to use were a much slower um, but uh, I, I didn't get it uh, so I was looking through it here and there was a steel type that I saw that I, I've never used again it's a Pokemon I never used I have faced it before and I hate preparing against it so I thought you know what I'll, I'll, I'll just draft it so I don't have to um, so the my next pick is uh, Escavalier. Um, Escavalier is uh, a, a, an incredibly powerful Pokemon. It has, I believe, 135 attack, base attack, uh, and 105 defense and special defense. So it is very bulky. It is very powerful. As um, only it only has one weakness. Um, it is four times weak to fire, but nonetheless, it's only one weakness. Uh, I think going into it, it, it does pair well with uh, Slowbro, uh, which can take those fire hits, and it can perform Trick Room. It does have a good ability uh, in Overcoat, so it's not going to. I can probably. It's probably a good Pokemon to hard counter some grass types, uh, but. There's not a lot I can say about Escavalier. Uh, I've, like I said, I've never used Escavalier before, so this is going to be uh, uh, interesting because uh, I, I do want, uh, I, I do hate prepping against it, uh, facing it. So, um, uh, it, it, like I said, it, it's got some incredibly high attack. So uh, hopefully, uh. I can use this an Escavalier to to break down lots of teams, uh, <laughs> uh, but with with that um, though I haven't got a lot of the second uh, like the two tier Pokemon's that I I wanted, but uh, look uh, I'm still pretty happy with my team at this point. Uh, now I was looking at my team. Um, and I thought, you know what, I want to get a dark type, fake knockoff user. Um, I I know Venusaur has knockoff, Escavalier has knockoff. It, I'm I'm thinking to myself, okay, I just gotta get myself a dark type knockoff user because knockoff is such a powerful move, and especially coming from a dark type, it's gonna do so much. It does, it's gonna do so much damage to teams. Um, now the the dark time I wanted, uh, it actually got taken uh, not this round. It got taken a, a few rounds before, so I was a little bit like I needed I needed to get there was there was only two dark types I was eyeing, and one of them got taken a few rounds before, so I needed to get this dark type. 
Um, now, I uh, sound at the risk of sounding like a broken record. This is a Pokemon I've actually never used before, but I've always wanted to use this Pokemon, um, and that is uh, Crawdon. Uh, Crawdon. Uh, if I th if if I if you think Escavalier hit hard, uh, Crawdon hits uh, way harder. Um, it this is this is because of its ability uh, adaptability, <laughs> uh, which d instead of uh, the same type attack man is doing 1.5 damage, it's two times the damage, and two times damage off a 120 base stat is huge. I have Crawdon is one of those Pokemon. Uh, I think, in my opinion, has little to no defensive checks, uh, especially in this uh, in this generation. Uh, the only Pokemon I can probably think from the top of my head is uh, probably Como O that can like come in on Crawdon's two stabs, Crab Hammer and Knock Off, and take. Uh, reasonable damage otherwise there's no Pokemon that's gonna safely come in on a Crawdon. Uh, it has access to a Prior move called oh so Aqua Jet so it can has it does it is a bit slow but that Aqua Jet means that it can uh, compensate for that uh, I can't wait to use Crawdon again I don't have a lot to say because I've never used this Pokemon before but I'm so excited to try out this Pokemon, um, but um, I'm thinking to myself, okay, so we're seven picks down. Um, I haven't gotten. It's been a while since I got a pick that I actually really want. Uh, I mean, I did want Crawdon, but um, it wasn't my number one pick. Uh, uh, and I'm looking at my team, and I see uh, I'm kind of missing. Uh, an electric type. I kind of want like a fast, hard hitting electric type. Now, all I have is access to the C tier, so there's, there weren't a lot there. Uh, but there were two that I was really eyeing, uh, and that was uh, Rotom and Raichu. Now, uh, after I made that Crawdon pick, they were both still available, uh, but by the time it got to me, no, they were, they, they were both gone. Uh, so, when it came to my turn, I was looking through what electric types I can use, and uh, there were none. <laughs> there was no electric types that I, I was, say, willing to use. So, I had to compensate. I tried my best to. The, the reason I think I wanted a fast electric type is so that I can add to the pivoting uh, the momentum move fault turn and help kind of uh, work with Flygon and Cinderace to generate momentum for the team. But since now I don't have uh, a stab fault turn, um, I thought, look, I need a different momentum move. Uh, uh, I looked through the tier list and I saw one Pokemon that I have used before, but probably only once or twice. Uh, I drafted it once, uh, and I and I hardly brought brought it, um, and that is uh, a Lowland Persian. <laughs> so, uh, a Lowland Persian is um, is actually a pretty good Pokemon. It, it, its ability fur coat means that it takes uh, the uh, so all physical damage uh, is halved. Um, on top of that, it has access to uh, Parting Shot, which is probably one of the best momentum gaining moves in the, the game. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it it's like you turn, uh, you swap, but after you've, uh, what you do is you lower your opponent's attack and special attack by one stage and you swap to any Pokemon you, of your choice. So, Alolan Persian is such a good uh, uh, Pokemon. It is, it's incredibly fast, there's access to foul play, uh, good, some support moves like Taunt, uh, and Icy Wind, uh, it does have uh, it does have some attacking options it, uh, in uh, Dark Pulse, and 
probably Thunderbolt as coverage, but it is it doesn't have a lot of uh, special attack. It's mainly a pivoting Pokemon. So, um, look, maybe I'll get uh, more use out of Persian uh, than I did last time, but it is really uh, a Pokemon I've, I've hardly used. Um, yeah. Uh, so, again, I don't have too much to say about it. Persian. Uh, now, after I made that Persian pick, my uh, my mind was uh, 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 <laughs> so going through my head. Okay, um, I had my last four picks. Um, I'm kind of been playing a uh, uh, catch up. Uh, like I'm not getting the Pokemon's I wanted. Um, I I don't know how to use five of the last. Five of the eight Pokemons I've, uh, I've no sorry, not that I don't know how to use them. I've never used, I've little to no experience using five of the last eight Pokemons I've chosen. Um, my I, I need, like, to make a pick that. Oh, for, I need a more comfortable pick. Uh, it's a Pokemon. I, I need to use a Pokemon that, um, that I I know is reliable. Um. So I'm like I'm looking to a CT. I'm looking at my team and I'm looking at the CT and I'm thinking I need a reliable pick. But on top of that, um, I I need a Pokemon. Uh, I I see that I have Hazard Control in Cinder Ace and Togekiss and Flygon, but I have no Hazards at all. Uh, uh, I I need a Stealth Rocker. Now, uh. There is one stealth rocker I knew how to use. Uh, it has been pretty reliable. Uh, so, uh, my next pick when it came to me it was uh, an easy choice of uh, Go Lurk. Now, Go Lurk, um, I I'm gonna admit actually, Go Lurk wasn't actually my first pick. There was a Pokemon I wanted and that got sniped. Like, uh, this round as well, so, uh, but Golurk um, was a Pokemon that I, I have used before. It is, it's got two good abilities in Stone, uh, in um, No Guard and uh, Iron Fist, uh, on top of an incredibly high, I believe it was 124 base attack. So it is a Pokemon that can do, uh, that has, so, so, sorry, uh, No Guns, it has. It's a Pokemon with incredibly large, uh, can do a lot of damage, and with Iron Fist, it means that its Shadow Punch can do so much damage. It also has coverage in Ice Punch, uh, Drain Punch, um, and with No Guard, I can that gives me like the freedom to uh, comfortably use uh, Stone Edge and Dynamic Punch. It's Golurk is uh, also. Like I said, it it is my stealth rocker. It has access to moves like Toxic, so it it is a reliable Pokemon. You know? um, and it it's kind of what I needed at this point. Uh, I I needed a little uh, swaddle for my uh, brain to to comfort me uh, with my draft. So it's uh, Go Lurk was a uh, was a clear uh, pick nine for me and. Uh, it helped me uh, kind of contextualize what I needed to pick for my tenth, my tenth uh, pick. Uh, for my tenth pick, I, I thought to myself, uh, I, I wanted to get another hazard user um, because I didn't want my opponents to go look at my team and see, oh, he's got go luck. That must like if he wants hazard he's going to bring go look if he sees go look on the team preview of the battle most likely he's going to have stealth rock not now that not that's not necessarily going to be true but it does limit my options to if i want to use hazard it has to be go look um and i i don't like that idea so i wanted to get another has hazard setter um now this isn't actually a lot of hazard setters in 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 the C tier, or any ones that I really interested in using, but uh, there is one that I have used before, 
and a bit like Alone in, Night, uh, Alone in Persian. I've used it, but not a lot. Um, so my last pick uh, is uh, Frost Seed. So uh, <laughs> Frost Seed is uh, it, it's it's another uh, strong Pokemon, I believe. It only has no, it has two weaknesses: uh, fighting and uh, fire. And uh, it it has a good ability in Iron Barb. So. Uh, any contact moves, the opponent will lose one six and uh, one sixth of their HP, I believe. So it, it's got a good Pokemon. It has high defense, especially when it's holding Evil Light. It has access to to not only Self Rock spikes, Toxic spikes, I believe. Um, it has access to Knock Off and Toxic. So it's a good Pokemon to just uh, for um. Frosty's not a good. Frosty's a good Pokemon to just come in, bait in a Pokemon, and then come out. It's not. It's not a Pokemon that just likes to sit there. But um, it is a Pokemon that I, I have used before. Um, like I said, I haven't used it much, but uh, it, it does fit my team in what I want it to do. In that, it gives me another. Uh, uh, option for for stacking hazards it gives me an option it frees up me to having to use I can use Venusaur as an offensive model whilst having a defensive presence in for our seed it, it, it just does a lot um, to for my team uh, more on a I think it's, it's I think I'll do more as an, a, a name on my team than it it, then it uh, it can do more than actually in battle, so um, I think there's just more that they have to consider like, with Frosty than than uh, what even if I bring if I even if I bring it or not. Uh, so look, uh, that's that's my team. Uh, I'm looking at it. Look, uh, half of the team. I'm gonna admit half the team weren't my ideal picks uh, and looking at it there's only three Pokemons I can I can comfortably use you no know, four Pokemons I can comfortably use so more than half of the teams are Pokemons I'm actually using for the first time or I have very little experience with but I'm actually super excited about this team um it is uh, I can't wait to use uh, Slowbro, Flygon, uh, Escavalier, uh, and Crawdon. These these Pokemon's are uh, Pokemon's I've always wanted to use or hate f facing against. So I can't wait to be. Um, I can't wait to try them out. Now, okay, so uh, that that's my team. Um, I am. Planning to do uh, video, uh, so um, each week I'm going to be uh, posting videos of my 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 battles uh, with probably like a like a, a quick team builder uh, uh, as well. So uh, if you want to be informed of when those videos come in, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. Um, also, if if I do find any other uh, uh, coaches that's posting these kind of draft analysis, uh, I will leave them in the description below. So uh, please check them out. Uh, this this is actually more of an optional thing for the NBL. So uh, I am excited for this. Uh, my first week match is going to be against the season one champion. So I'm super excited. Uh, I can't wait to to start uh, not only uh, start this uh, Pokemon Draft League, but uh, up uploading videos again. Um, so, uh, see ya! <laughs> like, uh, hope to see you next week. Bye. <laughs>